This is Occupy Maine TV on Portland's Community Television Network. On Saturday of the Martin Luther King Celebration Weekend in Portland, around 80 to 90 people from around the community came together to discuss the reasons for the loss of our democracy, our dissolving civil rights, and the growing economic disparity being endured by the entire community. Student group leaders came to the microphone to explain what their group had just discussed. It was, it was powerful. We got, uh, from there, uh, the groups got, uh, came out and marched from Preble Street up to Congress, down Congress to uh, City Hall, where there were a number of speakers. City Council are reminded to remember the values that brought them to the office. The person here gathered has an opportunity to beat a drum. Uh, to beat a drum for justice, this is a march for justice, and how can we have a just community, just families and just neighborhoods when our neighbors suffer, when our neighbors hurt, Where's our moral compass? Where is our heart? Where is our desire to relieve suffering? But as individuals, we all have an opportunity to make a difference in someone's life. Whether you're the 99 or the one. It was beautiful. It was a great multi-generational moment. And so many people who are involved in the Occupy movement, I really appreciate Heather coming up and speaking and everybody who's here because today, really, as Reverend Lewis said, it's always got to be a call to action. It's always got to be more than what we're doing. Today is about making sure we speak up. When the readbacks, when the, when the uh, report backs happened at the end of the small group discussion, the large group was hearing what each group talked about. I was writing these um, facts and one-liner uh, phrases on these signs. And I made about 20 signs with um, cardboard and marker. And um, it was great because Rachel, who had organized the event, mm -hmm. she actually just saw me there and said, there's signs here for anyone who wants them, which is exactly what I had hoped for. And I had one Occupy Maine 99% sign. All uh, right. Yeah, and that sign was taken by a woman um, I had never met before. She was African American, and she looked just overjoyed to have a beautiful 99% sign. So I was like, you know, cool, you know. Speaking about those signs, Rachel, what had struck me when, when everyone was marching down Congress Street, I noticed that there was a great deal of young people, people of all colors, to, uh, carrying our 99% signs. And it was the first time that I'd seen that. And, and you know, so many people that I hadn't recognized, the, the people in our, in our group of uh, Occupy Mainers, these were now like, this is about 100 people carry, you know, carrying our signs. And but although it was for the Martin Luther King weekend, it was just fantastic to see them all together that I only brought one 99% sign, Brian. And oh. that 99% sign, by the time we got all the way to City Hall, had grown into like 15 mm. Occupy signs that were 99%. And I was just amazed to see so many diverse people, young and old, holding these signs, Did you owning the signs, Brian. They just loved them. Scooped nice them right nice metaphor for the movement that one person starts and it grows from there. On uh, Monday, you were a part of a, an event. It was a breakfast, I believe. Yes, yeah, so they had the breakfast celebration at uh, Holiday Inn by the Bay. Mm -hmm. And um, the room was packed. It was a, I, I don't know the exact number of people, but it was a room that was filled. Emphasize enough that it was a really um, very full program, very well done. Uh, I mean, it was clear that a lot of people uh, had, had put a lot of work into it. Um, it started with uh, children from the Portland Housing Authority uh, youth uh, coming in in a march uh, and singing a song uh, that, uh, you know, the crowd really reacted to favorably. Okay, well, in conclusion, uh, this weekend was, was fantastic, and there were a lot of different uh, people there. Can you tell us a little more uh, your, your thoughts of the whole, the, the whole event on Saturday? 
Well, Brian, as you know, it was bitter cold that day. Right. And uh, it was just so striking to me that so many people were out in the cold, standing together for social justice. And as I looked at how much people were freezing but not moving, you know, really committed to being there, it occurred to me that this is a huge intersection for Occupy Wall Street movement with the civil rights movement. And that was just so powerful. Good deal. Well, uh, that's, uh, that will be it. I, I had a great time this weekend myself. Um, thanks a lot for coming, both of you.